Okay, so <laughs> uh, let me take this mask off. Um, shoot. So it is Saturday, uh, October, I would say, 24th. Right? And um, it's my weekend to see the kids, so I'm going to buy Pam. And of course, you know, they have to, um, about it before I, I even get into that. So yesterday, which was Friday, they were pretty, pretty uh, hectic in terms of the noise campaign and the remote neural monitoring the night before, yeah, doing it in a very subtle, sneaky way. Okay. And so today, getting ready to go by Pam and my sister was uh, leaving the house. Now, she had uh, gotten dressed about, you know, I would say an hour before I, I, I leave, I left, and she didn't leave because obviously she was waiting for me. Because this is what they're doing now. Whenever I go by Pam, they have my sister target me. So, you know, I closed my bedroom door, got dressed, and just sitting there as I'm hearing her talking. You know, remember, it's, it's a whole hour. She didn't leave, still waiting for me. And um, so, you know, I said to myself, I said, watch as soon as I open up my bedroom door to leave she's going to want to leave and sure enough an hour later as I open my bedroom door to leave she leaves okay and so I'm, as I'm putting on my shoes she's talking and she's like oh I got to take the garbage out and, you know I got to make two trips and you know I'll do this in my second thing and as I'm walking out the door she's standing in front of me and she basically took her index finger, her pointer finger, and touched her nose, right? And so, like I said, I knew that this is what was happening. And, um, you know, like I said, when they don't, uh, when they can't use a lot of the noise campaign, they will switch it up and find another way, which in case using family members to heavily target me when I'm in the house. Right, so they have been very, very aggressive. I was looking at the traffic. So they have been very, very aggressive the past week of using family members to um, to target me, right? And particularly my sister. So, uh, for example, sometimes at night when I am, um, like if I finish studying and. Uh, I go use the bathroom, two o'clock in the morning or uh, two thirty or what have you. And um, my nephew's son, he's a teenager. You know, he like he'll be standing in the hallway. He will be standing in the hallway, literally, <laughs> literally waiting for me. All right, she comes out here. All right, look. All right, so she sees me. She's standing right here, and then she sees me. And as I get close, she uh, she's just standing there now. She says she sees me. She starts walking, takes out her phone, stops right in front of me. And uh, I guess she's vaping. That have you blowing that smoke, you know? Because she wasn't doing it before when she was standing there. I crossed the street and I saw her standing there, right? So anyway, uh, yeah. So like I said, um, they don't stop. They just they just find other ways to uh, target you and um, you know it is what it is right look at them touching their face look at them trying to give me the middle finger you know so anyway yeah and again recently again using Pam you know <laughs> and it's funny because I spoke to her this morning and again, you know, there is no, when you're a TI and you're on the phone with somebody and they, there is no consistency in the way, like, it's particularly if you say goodnight to them, you know, or all of a sudden they get all aggressive in terms of saying goodbye. Then there are times when you get all, you say goodnight and they won't even say goodnight back or even goodbye. They just remain silent, right? And uh, then there are times where they'll whisper it. So, you know. I just got to vlog these stuff because um, we all got to know what's going on and it's a continuing effort. It's never ending. You know, though this week 
uh, the targeting by police uh, with the noise campaign as well as fire trucks and ambulances kind of was very subtle but yesterday it was full on blast right yesterday was Friday so it was full on blast and um, and I think you know my sister doing that what she did this morning as I was leaving not this morning but you know midday uh, you know tapping her nose as I'm leaving the door because again uh, I guess when I go by Pam she's gonna be heavily targeting me and so they do that stuff to try to act as a deterrent but again you know I've been in a relationship with Pam for 12 years she's been targeting me 12 out of those years right and uh, I never once got aggressive with her even though she have gotten aggressive with me and actually hit me okay so yet this is what they do right it's a false narrative in which they try to make you out to be the bad guy while uh, you know they want to have women um, you know put their hands on you and as a black man you're supposed to deal with it so this is the condition that they're trying to put us black men in okay and not just black men but I'm just speaking for myself as a black man because I see how a lot of women have treated black men recently and you know they um, they do like the white people do they generalize all black men because they had bad relationships with a few black men and all of a sudden you know you know if 10% of the black men are bad or in terms of relationship wise you know they'll be like well 90% are bad and 10% are good you know and that's the mentality right that's why white people generalize black people Three black people are bad they say black people are bad right but this is what they do anyway I'm getting on the bus I'll talk to you guys in the next video